Thorium is a natural radioactive element. Discovered in 1828, it has an atomic weight of 90 and was named after the Norse god Thor. Thorium is a viable and attractive alternative to traditional nuclear fuels. And a number of research projects are currently exploring thorium-based nuclear reactors. A traditional nuclear reactor generates energy by heating water using enriched uranium rods. The uranium's nuclear reactions heat the water into massively pressurized steam, which is then used to turn a turbine, creating electricity. A thorium reactor would operate in a similar manner, with a few key differences. Uranium chain reactions must be delicately balanced to keep them going, but not get out of control, as happened at Chernobyl in 1986. Thorium, on the other hand, cannot maintain a nuclear chain reaction on its own, so there's no risk of runaway. You can always just switch it off. The water in a uranium-based nuclear reactor is not only there to be converted into steam, but also to act as a coolant, helping to prevent the fissile uranium fuel rods from melting down catastrophically. This is what happened at the Fukushima Daiichi plant in Japan when the pumps failed. Thorium reactors don't use high-pressure steam like a traditional nuclear reactor, but liquid lead, which moves by convection and therefore doesn't need pumps, so there's no risk of a pressure explosion or meltdown. It's also very hard to create weapons from the byproducts of thorium reactors, and it's impossible to create them by enrichment. The threat of proliferation is therefore basically eliminated. The waste from traditional nuclear reactors will loiter in a deadly form for thousands of years. The time it takes for thorium to become non-toxic is thousands of times less. Some of the thorium-based technologies being considered also have the added benefit of safely using up much of the stockpiled plutonium we already have by using it as an initial reaction trigger. <laughs>